3. Loading, Storing Data How to Load and Store Data in PIG Loading data is probably the foremost thing done on any project, and when promptly done, helps for the success of the project. In this video, I'm going to teach on Loading Data. Here we will see how to load the data from a file into an alias using PIG. Storing Data Under this section, we will explore on how to write contents of an alias back into a file. Dump Operator How to use the dump operator for debugging purposes. By the end of this video, you will be able to start working on files by loading the data from the file into PIG's relation. You will also be able to store the data back into a file and thereby you will be able to persist the process data. Loading data. How to load the data from a file into an alias. Load operator is used to load data from input files. For example, if the input file input.txt has the following data, then we can load the data using the statement as highlighted below. Here A is the relation. Relation is like an alias, which contains the data. Here, load is the operator that loads the data from the input file. Input.txt is the input file from where we are going to load the data from. The file name is specified within single quotes. When loading data from HDFS, the HDFS file can be specified within single quotes. Using is the keyword that is used to specify the load function. Pig storage is the load function, which is used when the fields in the input file are delimited by tab. You can also use different other load functions available, such as JSON loader to load the JSON data, text loader to load the unstructured text file, and HBase storage to load the data from HBase table. As we have already seen, the highlighted section is the way to specify the schema for the data. This indicates the first field is assigned with char array data type. The second and third fields are assigned with int data type. The F1, F2, F3 is the user defined field name. We can give any name. Here, the using load function is optional. Similarly, as schema is also optional. Let's see how to use the load statement in Grunt Console. I have an HDFS file in user mat HDFS directory, and the HDFS file name is employee underscore salary underscore details dot txt. Applying cat command has displayed the contents of the file. We can see the file has three employees, their name, age, and salary details. Say I want to load this into an alias in pig. All I do is use the load statement. A equals load within quotes HDFS file name using pig storage off as schema. Here we are specifying the three fields. Name is of char array data type, age, and salary are of int data type. This is how you can load the file into an alias in pig. Now, let's see how to store the modified data into an HDFS file. Storing data. How to store contents of an alias file back into a file. Store operator is used to save the results to output files. For example, after performing operations in PIG, say the salary part in our previous example is incremented by $1,000 for each tuple and is in an alias B. The contents of the B alias can be stored into a file using store operator as shown below. This will persist the results in the file system. Remember, the contents of the alias will only be available during that PIG session. However, once you store it into a reliable file system like HDFS using the store command, it will be persisting permanently. Here, store is the operator. B is the name of the alias which contains the modified data. Into is a required keyword. Output.txt is the output directory. The directory name is enclosed within single quotes. Note here, 
if the output directory already exists, the PIG operation will fail. Using is the keyword that is used to specify the store function. PIG storage is the store function, which is used when we need the fields to be delimited by pipe symbol in the output directory. Here, you can use the different delimiters as per the requirement. I'm going to modify the data by increasing the salary values by 1,000 for each of the employees. I'm going to use for each statement. B equals for each A generate name age salary. For salary, I'm adding 1,000 to it. Now I'm going to save the modified data in alias B into an HDFS file. So I'm using store statement. Store B into HDFS directory within single quotes. This is the HDFS directory where the contents of the alias will be stored into. Using pig storage off indicates that the records will be stored into HDFS file with each field separated by spaces. It spans a MapReduce job, and we can see the progress of the MapReduce jobs in the console. Now, job has stored the output successfully into the HDFS directory. Let's verify the contents of the HDFS directory. I'm listing out the HDFS files within the directory. Then I'm applying cat command to view the contents of the HDFS file. Here you go. We can see the modified content in the HDFS file. Dump operator. Dump operator is used to dump the results to the screen when you are in Grunt console. This is especially useful for debugging purposes. Note that dump operator will not persist the results permanently. The results displayed will only be available during that PIG session. Dump is very useful to make sure that each alias contain the data as we expected, especially when we are running the PIG commands line by line within the console. In our example, the alias B had the below values. We can verify the same using dump B statement. Let's see how to use the dump operator in Grunt console. I'm clearing the screen with the clear command. Earlier, we had modified data in alias B. Let's display the contents of the alias B. For that, I'm going to specify dump B. This spans a MapReduce job. It shows the progress of the MapReduce jobs in the console. Wow, it displays the contents of the alias B as expected. This is how we can use the dump operator to display the contents of an alias while within the Grunt console. In this video, we learned about using the load operator to load the contents of a file into pig's relation or alias. We saw how to use the store operator to store the contents of pig's relation into an HDFS file. We also understood the usage of dump operator in debugging the pig commands in a Grunt console. In the next lecture, we will learn about the PIG Latin's diagnostic operators, which will be very helpful to write better code.